So last time we solved some examples uh, using the Morgan's theorem, but they were pretty much uh, they had direct implication of uh, the Morgan's theorem. And I uh, now I want to solve some other uh, simplify some other Boolean equations that will not have as direct uh, uh, implication of the Morgan's theorem as previous ones. Maybe they will be a bit harder. I mean, there is nothing hard in, in the whole uh, course of Boolean algebra, but they are, those were too easy. I, I want to have a bit more of them. So let's do something. Let's something like this. A B negated, say, both negated plus B A C both negated plus C negated, say let's negate some more stuff. Let's negate, say, this thing uh, and say negate the whole thing again. Yeah, that should look, at least look a bit more complicated. And so what we start, we, we see that we can uh, imply, again, the Morgan's theorem uh, for addition. So we can split it into this part, into this part, and treat it as A here and as B here. So then we will rewrite these two, we'll negate them as in this formula. So let's let's do that. So we write A B negated and it was negated and then we negate it again plus uh, B bracket A negated sorry negated all of these two plus C negated all negated and this is the it's, its natural negation that was in this part and then negate again, like this. This negation is from uh, the Morgan's theorem. And uh, as you know, the uh, double negation of the same thing uh, gives uh, the original thing. So we just can uh, erase this negation, because it's double negation. As you remember, something negated twice is the same thing. That's uh, very easy. Uh, so, what do we have further? Ah, that was too easy. I shouldn't negate at least one of them uh, in the beginning. So it's too easy again. Yep, Boolean algebra is too easy. Now we rewrite this one, B negated plus, and then we open bracket. And we have B, A, C, both negated with one negation, plus B, C, negated. Yeah, so we open the bracket. Now we have uh, this guy that we, that we can uh, apply the Morgan's theorem for. So we write, we write A, B, negated, B, and then we open the bracket and apply the Morgan's theorem. Here we have AC, that means we will have A negated plus C negated, as in this formula. So we close the bracket and we have still our BC negated. And then probably the last step, we will write AB negated plus and then we open the bracket. We get uh, BA negated, this one and plus B, C negated, this one and this one, uh, and plus B, C negated. Oh, we get B, C negated twice. And what does it mean? Uh, it's very likely that you already forgot all the formulas from the first uh, video, so we can uh, look up here. As you can see, this is from the first video, I think, yeah. Uh, something plus something is the same thing in Boolean algebra. One variable plus the same variable is 
basically the same. We can look up that at any time. And that means that uh, PC negated plus PC negated is PC negated. Just just remind me you just in case. Uh, and so we can rewrite A B negated plus B A negated plus B C negated, which is the same as B C negated plus B C negated. And that's that's the answer for this example. Now let's uh, we can do something. Uh, let's do the same example, but without this negation and without this one. It will get harder without this. So uh, A, B, let's divide them. B negated plus B bracket A, C negated plus C negated. It shouldn't be the same. And then we negate everything. Looks, looks kind of the same. Uh, then again, we start with the rewriting A, B, G. Sorry, A negated, only B is negated. Plus, we open the brackets. Ah, no. We can do that as well, right? Though there are really different ways. We could uh, apply De Morgan's theorem directly for these two terms. Or we could first open the brackets inside. We can do uh, whatever we want. So we have uh, uh, B, A, C, both negated, plus B, C, negated, and then everything negated. Yeah, now we also have several possibilities. We can either open this part or uh, get rid of the, the big negation. L let's do, let's uh, get rid of this part. Just because it, I think it doesn't matter. In this case, A, B negated plus B, then we have bracket as here. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, basically, basically, yes, we can apply it again this formula and we'll get A negated plus C negated plus B, C negated. And I'm actually a bit bored. I will now open the big, uh, the big negation out there. So we have ah no. Let's let's simplify. Let's open this bracket in them. It would be funny. A B negated plus open the bracket B A negated plus B C negated. Uh, again the same thing. B C negated. I should have. Taking another example, right? Uh, then, then we see that we have BC twice. That we can just forget one of these two. BC, and then a big negation. So basically the same example, but with big negation. And now we can apply uh, the Morgan's theory for some. Or addition, this one, or no, it's there, of course, the same, but it's uh, better to clearly you can see it's easy to apply this one. Ah, it's the same, but uh, when you look at this one, it's a bit more clear for more than two terms. So we will write, oh, now it will be fun. Uh, we will write uh, A, B. Negated, all negated, as in here. Now we will write uh, B A negated. Then again we negate the whole thing, uh, and the same with this one. B C negated, and again negated. So we applied this. Uh, which one? What's that? For addition. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. It should be. Uh, multiplication here. So we applied formula where we go from from addition to multiplication. Right here, we got each of these uh, each of terms negated. 
Oh yeah. And now, now we can apply it several more times. We can apply again the Morgan's theorem for this one separately, for this one separately, and for this one separately. Because we got too more, too much of them. So when we will get well, in the bracket A negated plus B negated negated. Or we just can forgot double negation. And then the then this part B negated plus A negated negated, which is the same. And then this one B B negated plus C negated negated or just C. Whoa! Well, this example I should have used this one from the beginning. It's much harder, much longer at least than the previous one. Now we open the bracket. Oh, we get lots of stuff. Now let's let's start with just two brackets. We multiply a negated by b negated, negated b negated with separate negations. Uh, then we separate bars. A negated plus a negated. A, I actually don't remember what is it. Then uh, B, B negated, B, B negated, then B, A plus B, A. <laughs> nice! And this is in one bracket, and we will rewrite B negated plus C here. Oh, I, uh, we get pretty, pretty the same, the same things. Here and there we have A negated A, B negated B, and what could it be? If we have some variable multiplied by the same variable, it's, it is zero, as in our first lecture. And so this guy will be zero, and this one will be also zero. And what about this? Let's, let's write it down. We get A negated B negated plus uh, let's let's swap uh, these two around and write it A B. You know it's uh, usually preferably uh, preferable to write uh, variables in the same order. I will tell you why. Uh, and then another bracket B negated plus C. And then let's open it again. I'm I'm already tired of these brackets. Uh, A negated B. Oh, we don't need this bracket, right? It's too much of them today. Uh, A negated B negated. Then again, multiplied by B negated. That's something bad. Then uh, A negated B negated B negated multiplied by C. Then this one plus a b multiplied by b negated a b by b negated then a b by c plus a b by c no negations and then we have uh, here we have uh, uh, b negated multiplied by b and this is zero as we remember and b negated uh, multiplied by b negated uh, it's the same variable multiplied by the same variable is the same variable as you might remember from the first lecture. So this will be 1. So the whole thing will be a negated plus a negated b <coughs> c plus a b c rule. That was pretty pretty long one, and I'm even uh, not sure if it's uh, if we finished that actually. Uh, oh, we are we're out of paper now. Mm. But let's uh, let's leave it as it is. Maybe if uh, if you have some uh, uh, spare time, you can try to apply uh, kernel map, map technique on this one to see if it's uh, the simplest. Uh, the simplest solution of of this one of our initial expression. Yeah, I, I would suppose you can uh, uh, you can try this one.
Yeah, then, then let's do something next. <laughs>